Lion's mane mushroom has gained much popularity because of its supposed benefits to our ability to gain, understand, and perceive knowledge as well as focus, creativity, and productivity. But what does the scientific research say about lion's mane? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the scientific literature behind lion's mane for its three claimed facts on brain function, stomach issues, and anxiety. I'll also be breaking down its safety profile and whether or not I think lion's mane mushroom is helpful harmful, or just a plain hoax. What's up, superhumans? Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Dr. Tessa. I'm a licensed pharmacist as well as a NASM certified personal trainer and nutrition coach. And my goal with this platform is to inspire, educate, and empower you guys to reach your optimal health utilizing holistic, evidence-based health practices. If you wanna learn more on how you can work with me one-on-one -on -one to optimize your health using alternative therapies, superfoods, and supplements, or become one of my online coaching clients, keep listening until the end of the video or use the link below in my description and book a free wellness consultation with me. As always, you've heard it before in other videos, but superfoods and supplements can interact with certain disease states or medication, so make sure you're talking with your healthcare provider before supplementing with anything. All right. Let's do this. The first one we're gonna be talking about is cognitive function or brain function. A small clinical trial shows that taking lion's mane for 12 weeks significantly improved mini mental state examinations, but did not improve patients' visual retention or verbal learning skills. Well, like, what the heck does that mean? The mini mental health state examination is widely used test on the ability to gain, understand, and perceive knowledge, especially in the elderly population. Population, mostly in those who worry about memory problems, dementia, or Alzheimer's disease. Another study in 68 patients over the age of 50 with mild Alzheimer's disease showed that taking lion's mane for 49 weeks improves performance of activities of daily living and improves the scores of the mini mental state examination. In an animal model, lion's mane mushroom improved recognition memory, but not spatial working memory. It can also help prevent learning and memory deficits caused by amyloid beta in mice. And amyloid beta is the peptide protein that is thought to trigger the progression of Alzheimer's disease, especially when it accumulates in the brain. Now, it is important to note that animal studies are not the best predictors of what happens in humans. There are differences between animal bodies of disease and human diseases, as well as physiological and genetic differences. This is why it is so important to have research in real humans and that's also why we have to take animal research findings with a little bit of a grain of salt. Now, in another human study in Japanese patients aged 50 to 80 years old with mild cognitive impairment, which is basically the stage between expected decline of thinking, remembering, and reasoning due to just aging and the more serious decline of dementia to such an extent that it interferes with a person's ability to live their day-to-day -day life. So this study shows that taking lion's mane mushrooms for 16 weeks increases cognitive function. However, cognitive function kind of backslid, reverted back to baseline within four weeks of discontinuing individuals taking the lion's mane mushroom. So this is really important because if you wanna keep these benefits of the improvements that you're seeing in your cognitive or brain function from lion's mane, it is very likely that you must keep taking it because what we saw in this study is once the individuals or the patients within this study stopped taking the lion's mane mushroom supplement, they regressed back to their baseline thinking, remembering, and reasoning function. Overall, based on the current research out there, I do believe lion's mane mushroom has a place in helping us improve our abilities to think think, remember, reason, especially in older adults and those at risk for developing Alzheimer's disease or dementia. However, to what extent, I'm not exactly sure. I really want to see more studies in human populations and also in younger populations so we can see the full spectrum of benefits that are backed by scientific data. So as of right now with the scientific literature out there, I'm going to classify lion's mane mushroom for cognitive function as potential 
potentially helpful. In other words, I think the potential benefits outweigh the potential risks of taking lion's mane mushroom unless you're taking certain medications or have certain disease states, which I will go over towards the end of my video, so keep watching for that. So right now, it either does have the potential to help your brain function or it won't really do much and the only harmful thing that it will have is maybe it'll be a little harsh on your wallet. Now, the second thing we're gonna go over is gastritis. So what about lion's mane mushroom for stomach problems like nausea, stomach upset, or indigestion? Preliminary clinical data in patients with chronic inflammation of gastric mucosa shows that taking lion's mane mushroom before meals daily for three months does improve upper abdominal pain in about 27 more patients, improves indigestion in 39% more patients, and reduces inflammatory infiltrations of antigens, viruses, toxins in about 23% more patients. Animal research suggests that an extract of lion's mane mushroom reduces the area of gastric ulcers in rats. And in a cell culture research study, which means they're just studying it within individual cells in like a test tube, this showed that lion's mane mushroom can interfere with the proliferation of precancerous gastric cells. Overall, based on the current research out there, I once again, I think lion's mane has the potential to help, especially since it's been used for stomach ailments for centuries. However, at this time, there's very little scientific evidence for this claim, but the research is promising. I will say lion's mane, like all of the mushroom family, is a great source of soluble fiber, which is important for the normal flora in our digestive tract, which can improve the microbiome for better digestive function. So if you want more soluble fiber in your diet, lion's mane could be a great source. I just wouldn't expect it to do anything crazy for your digestive health in regards to chronic diseases like gastric ulcers or chronic indigestion. So hopefully in the future we can see more scientific data in humans that really show the potential and the benefit of lion's mane in gastritis. Finally, let's talk about anxiety because I feel like anxiety is just all over the place in our world today. And although there's an interest in using lion's mane mushroom for anxiety, out of all of the three claims, anxiety and mood has the least reliable information and evidence about using lion's mane and its clinical effect in humans. Now, animal research has found that lion's mane mushroom has anti-inflammatory effects that can reduce symptoms of anxiety and depression in mice. And other animal studies found that lion's mane extract can be helpful in regenerating brain cells and improving the function of the hippocampus region, which is kind of a part of the brain that's responsible for processing memories and emotional responses. But once again, while these animal research studies are promising, there is very little research in humans. And the only research that we really have currently Currently is a study done in 2010. So this 2010 study investigated the impact of lion's mane mushroom on anxiety in only 26 female subjects. They had no specific medical conditions, which can also potentially skew the data since none of them were clinically diagnosed with anxiety or depression. One group ate lion's mane containing cookies for a week, while the other group kind of ate just placebo cookies. So like regular cookies. I mean, like talk about a great study to be in, right? You just eat cookies for four weeks. And at the end of the trial, the individuals eating those lion mane cookies did score significantly less on the depression scale and the Pittsburgh Sleep Quality Index than what they had scored previously before taking the lion's mane mushroom cookies. Now this seems all fine and dandy, but I believe there was a little bit of design flaws within the scientific research, and I'm not sure I would be able to base a recommendation so on this study alone. On top of this, there are a ton of well-researched lifestyle habits like plant-based nutrition, getting the recommended amount of exercise, interacting with nature, lavender aromatherapy, and acupressure that have been proven time and time again to reduce anxiety. So I would recommend these well-researched lifestyle habit changes long
long before I would recommend lion's mane for anxiety. I also believe that there are better superfoods and supplements out there that are more well researched than lion's mane, especially within the mushroom family. So when you think about ashwagandha, and I did a video on that, so if you wanna check that one out, it is this one right here. So now let's go over the safety profile of lion's mane mushroom. Lion's mane is generally safe when used orally and appropriately, especially in food amounts. However, it's best to avoid if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. As far as side effects, lion's mane is generally well tolerated with the most common side effects being stomach discomfort, nausea, and possibly a skin rash. Now lion's mane mushroom can interact with certain medications and that includes anticoagulant or anti platelet medications because theoretically lion's mane mushroom may increase the risk of bleeding or bruising in patients with a bleeding disorder or those taking an anticoagulant or antiplatelet medication. This is why it's also recommended to discontinue lion's mane mushroom at least two weeks before any elective surgical procedures. Also lion's mane mushroom can theoretically interact with anti-diabetic drugs by reducing blood glucose which could then lead theoretically to hypoglycemia or low blood sugar. Once again, do not supplement with anything before discussing with your healthcare provider. Now, if you wanna learn more about superfoods and supplements that do have a clinical benefit that could be helpful in improving your health, I do offer personalized supplement protocols that help people go from being confused and overwhelmed and paying way too much for supplements that don't even work to being confident, knowing that they're taking the right things and reaching their health goals faster, improve their own health, gain muscle or lose weight, supplement protocols are also very helpful for those type of health and wellness goals as well. Now to discover if supplement protocols is something that could really help you, make sure to book a free wellness consultation with me using the link below in my description. I am also taking on coaching clients for my personalized wellness programs and those encompass personal training, nutrition coaching, supplement consulting, and really help individuals who want to improve their overall health, especially in those who have a crazy busy schedule because my online coaching clients, you can take it at the speed that you want as well as having me as an accountability and a coach source for you. So if you're interested on my online coaching programs as well, you can use that same link to book a free wellness consultation and learn more about those programs. Now, if you want more day-to-day -day tips, tricks about health and wellness, make sure to follow me on Instagram at the superfood pharmacist. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it with anyone who might benefit from this knowledge. Also, you can hit that little bell notification so you're notified each and every time I upload a video. Lastly, if you have any questions whatsoever, make sure to put them below in the comments and make sure to check out all my scientific references I used in creating this video in my video description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found it helpful and we'll see you in the next video. But until then, keep living your worth.